Hi, I'm Willie Zepp. I've been to Burning Man uh, the last five years, uh, and in 2000, and in the last five years it's been really exciting to be part of the ambient drummers for several of those years. I've always been in good standing with the rehearsals and the sign-ups and the online work, and frankly the drumming for the man burn is one of the most important parts of my burn. I've been associated with a couple of theme camps and city uh, center camp cafe. Uh, I do the fence mural. I put a couple of uh, big sculptural pieces on the playa. Uh, but coming for the man burn remains, uh, I think, it, the emotional high for me. And I believe that I can really respond to uh, the fire people. I, of course, I drum for African dance classes. I like that interplay between the dancers and the drummer. And I like watching them and being a part of the whole ambiance and putting what I like to hear in the middle of all that and seeing where I could fit in, and that's the way I would uh, work with anybody in my group. I've never been like a crew chief uh, uh, so far with the ambient drummers. Uh, think myself as more of a supportive person, but frankly, I would love to lead. Uh, I think I have some good rhythms that I can figure out what people would like to do and what the uh, fire performers would like and work with them. I'm very adaptable too. I like to change the rhythm. A lot of fire people like the rhythm to change up and kind of respond to what they're doing, not just have a steady rhythm. And that's uh, quite a few uh, groups have told me that. And when I drum with them on the playa at other times, that's what comes out. So I think I have a real clear sense and I have a, a real adaptable nature to uh, whatever someone wants. Incidentally, the procession into the uh, the man perimeter last year was really a wonderful experience. And this is a little bigger drum than I drummed the last year, but I still think that I have a lot of uh, potential to do the procession. So I'm hoping for that too, in all fairness. Okay, let's go uh, with um, a jingle bow, you know, a rumba. I think it's easily learned and a nice dance tune. I want to do a Middle Eastern piece because I just think it's so groovy. I like to do a ballad with a Mas Moody on top of it as a, like a second part, and uh, it sounds like this. I like to do a Manjani, uh, three, four, five parts actually, depending on you know who wants to play what. You can do claves and bells, and, but uh, three parts in the Manjani that I like is uh, triplets and bhakti ba, and then uh, which is kind of the top end part which I can play, and then there's always time for uh, some kind of improvisation too. Uh, so first the triplets.